Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Let's try and do this without falling overboard. Yeah, let's try not to fall overboard. Shifting over to the other side. So, we're going to have oatmeal this morning for breakfast. Yeah, this is our one pot oatmeal when it's a little rough out. Chuck and I'll, it's only one pot to clean. We have one pot and one spoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we share, we take turns eating. So, yeah. it's uh, two thirds of a cup oatmeal. And what else? And probably about a third of a cup of cranberries is what we have on this trip. Yeah. And I put in a small handful of pine nuts. You ever throw any like cinnamon or uh, stuff like that in there? I'll do cinnamon, but the cinnamon and the peanut butter for some reason. Oh, I you're gonna put peanut butter? Yeah, cinnamon and peanut butter doesn't work that good together. So, peanut butter, which the old boaters stand by. Somebody asked me once, why is it that every boat I go on has a great big jar of peanut butter? And I had one too. I had a, one of those <laughs> huge jars of uh, Skippy. Because uh, worst but, case, you can always eat peanut butter out of the jar. <laughs> oh yeah, well, that's, that's an old standby of mine. I've done that for years since I was a kid. But I discovered that the big jars kind of get rancid or... or you know, yeah, they go bad stale, I guess. After a while. Uh, so I get the small jars, the 16 ounce jar. I guess they're 16 ounce jars. 16 ounce jars. You get lots of them, and then that way you only open one at a time. But we go through it quite, pretty quick. Yeah. In any case, oh, that's, oh, that's good. Looks good. Smells good. I can't wait to dig in. Great so way to start the day. Big yeah. steaming mug of coffee. This is our usual kind of. Actually, this is our more breakfast often than we not. have more often than not. Yeah. So, two thirds of a cup oatmeal, handful of cranberries and raisins, a small handful of pine nuts, and a tablespoon of peanut butter goes a long way. Yep. <laughs> it's a pretty good breakfast. Yes, it is. Coffee, darling? Oh, you know it. And of course, being the coffee snobs that we are, we let it sit for four minutes. French roast. <laughs> French roast in a French press, <laughs> steeped for four minutes exactly, right? Exactly four minutes. Well, you can go over, but never under. And of course, we drink it out of a Starbucks mug. <laughs> They're coffee snobs, aren't they? Only because, well, the only reason we have those mugs is because they're the right shape for the boat. Yeah. You try. Usually, you go looking for mugs like that, and they're they're made for car cup holders. So they're small at the bottom and yeah, wide at the top. Yeah, they're small. That doesn't do you any It's exactly good. wrong for a boat. Well, actually, the ones that West Marine sell are pretty good. Yeah, they're smaller, though. They don't hold enough coffee. Yeah, they are a little smaller, but they're good quality. Yeah, they were, they were pretty good. But, I, you know, we have these, and I like them. <laughs> uh, we had to renew the little neoprene non-skids on the bottom, though. They wore out, and we had to put new ones yeah. on. But that's no big deal. You just... Stick them on with some silicone. Yeah, we've got the uh, little neoprene things. Neoprene things. Yeah. Again, those little neoprene um, uh, non skid holders for cups. Yeah. West Marine, they have the West Marine logo on them, and then there's the black non skid on the bottom, and I just silicone them back onto the bottom of those. That, that worked really well. Yep. So. Non stick, non skid, that's very important. Time for breakfast. Time for breakfast. So I got to turn the camera off, don't I? Yes, you do. Bye, bye.
July 17th, day 18. Two weeks from Sitka. Two weeks! Two more weeks, <laughs> yeah. 1,300 miles. Um, we crossed over latitude 40 this morning. Yeah, or was that last night? Close enough. Close enough. Anyhow, we, we've crossed over latitude 40. It's getting a little cooler, um, but this is not foul weather gear. Okay, this is just <laughs> light rain gear. I got, I got a squall or a little rain shower coming here. We're, I'm not going to admit to wearing foul we weather gear. We have a gear. bet. That's why we can't truck specifying here. It's not foul weather gear yet. Once the, you know, once, once the red third reef suit comes out, then it's foul weather gear. Um, but it is cooler. It's down in the low 70s. Uh, but... But, and we're, we're still, still barefoot. barefoot. Still barefoot. <laughs> but in the long pants. Got the long fleece pants on. So, and we're, we're very pleased with the progress we're making. Yeah, we did uh, 99 miles. 99 miles? Yesterday. Yeah, and again, that's over the ground miles. To not, the good. Not through the water ground miles. Through the water miles. Uh, and it's made good towards the destination, which we may not be exactly on a rum line course towards the destination all the time. I figure we actually covered probably more like 120 miles yesterday. Yeah, we were doing mostly five and six knots, most all of yesterday and last night. All, and most of last night. Last night was kind of squally and bumpy and uh, this morning we had this, you know, ornery kind of short, steep seas coming on the beam close together about Four feet. They weren't. They weren't big, but they were short and steep. Short and steep. But it didn't last very long. About a just couple hours. Just rolling by. Geez, uh, long enough on my watch. <laughs> and yeah, my watch went pretty smooth, actually. Yeah, you slept through most of it. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike you, who doesn't sleep through anything. <laughs> you know, I'm always jumping up. And... Well, you're the captain. That's your job. That's true. I'm the captain, and that's my job. <laughs> so right now we got uh, a little repair going on. Our um, our tiller pilot, that, you know how the way the Raymarine tiller pilots work. There's a little socket that has to be inset into the deck uh, to take the pin from the tiller pilot. And yeah, you know, I put it in five years ago before we left Hawaii the first time, and it's been fine up until fairly recently and now it started working its way out. Yeah, the last so it, couple of days, every every two or three every hours. Every two or three hours I'd have to take a mallet and pound it back down into the deck. So I got out some uh, G-Flex Epoxy by West Systems and it's supposed to be really great stuff for challenging bonding jobs. And we're, in the pro we're letting it cure at the moment. Hope that does the trick. Because Pounding on the deck with a mallet every couple of hours is no fun. If you keep doing that, and sooner or later it's going to loosen up to the point where it won't stay in at all. Yeah. So we've seen a couple of big things in the water this morning. Yeah. Um, two big chunks of, uh, two big box of timber like they use on cargo ships to brace up the containers and stuff. About 8 feet long, uh, 12 inch by 12 inch by 8 feet long, two of them. And, uh, great big chunk of styrofoam uh, shaped like a drum, like an oil drum, and about that size, 